the place was packed. If you go to Kumasi uh, Mall, City Mall, the next time you go to Kumasi City Mall, check the car park and you see that you need over 60,000 people to keep the place packed. And the place was packed. Uh, it was quite challenging because first of all, you have to, you have to know that if people don't come is a, is a problem. Everybody's going to talk about it, that you, you did this, that, that, and nobody came. So first of all, you have to break that psychological challenge in you that, oh, we can do it. That's one. It financially, um, it, it needed something from me because it's like something I'm giving back to my people. So I actually spent some money, my own money, you know, on it. And I also had some great sponsors like BJ and the rest to also support. So um, I had the financial challenge too. I had to put myself on the line in spite of the fact that it affected me in so many different ways in Accra because most of the, sh the payable shows or the big paid shows were happening in Accra and I was living in Kumasi. So living in Kumasi becomes a challenge for a lot of event organizers to, to fly me over to Accra to do the events. So they'd be like, oh, that Ben or Bobby Free, Kumasi, Abeju, Charlie, let's put another artist. They put another artist on it. So business-wise, it affected me, but I wanted to do something for my city.